Okay, onwards. Right. Now, we're going to have to um, graph these uh, absolute inequalities and also write the answers in interval notation, uh, possibly set notation. Now, let's look at, let's just do something like this. Suppose I just have x inside an absolute is less than or equal to 6. All right, let's not do all that 4k plus 3 stuff. So, just like the previous absolute value equations, you're going to put 1 equal to, well, not equal to, it's an inequality, 1 to 6 and 1 to negative 6, but this is how it goes. Again, 1, just as you see, written like that. All right, yeah, just like the question without the absolutes, though. x is less than or equal to 6. Now, the other version, again, remember, we always have the negative as well, but this is what you should remember, change the direction of the inequality. If it's less than 6, it's going to be greater than negative 6. So again, greater than or equal to. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it there. That's the basics of you doing these absolute value inequalities. Okay, so one's written just as you see it, okay, without the absolute sign, and then I would say to my students, change direction, change sign, and that's the other version. Okay, so Let's just have a look. Wee, just wait. What, what the heck happened there? Wait a minute. Sorry, folks. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, just bring the graph up a little bit. Okay. So uh, if I put this. Okay. There's the zero point. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there's six. Now remember, when you do this on the test, don't worry too much about the number line. If, it, if you can't fit all the numbers on, just make it up. You know, here's the 6, here's the negative 6. You put it where you want. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 5. Okay, so that's negative 6 there, okay? On there. So, this is what we have, okay? Numbers less than 6 equal to as well. So, I'm going to put that as a bracket. So, remember from the previous video, just about notation and graphing. And in some ways, okay, it's going to go that way, isn't it? Okay. Right. Now, the other one, x is greater than or equal to negative 6. Again, a bracket. And, of course, greater than that way. So can you see, uh, and that's why I drew them that way, you know, kind of like that. One's pointing that way, one's pointing that way. This is like that um, set notation for numbers in between. And for this one, it's negative 6 and positive 6. So, can you remember, okay, numbers in between negative 6 and positive 6, that's the answer. There's the graph, okay? Now, interval notation is just you really copying the graph, because watch. There it is, there's the bracket. It goes from negative 6, and it goes to positive 6. Again, bracket, okay? Because obviously it's all got the equal sign. And that's it, that's the interval notation. Now watch, here's the set notation. Remember this? Fancy stuff, okay? So, here's the fancy bit. Don't worry too much about that for now. X is such that, now, here's the set notation. Where did it go from? It goes from negative 6. Right? Where did it go to? It goes to positive 6. Right? Remember this stuff in between? Uh, less than or equal to X. Should have put a bit more space. Less than or equal. Okay, so that's it. All right? There we go. So that is you doing the set notation. That means from negative 6 to positive 6. It looks a bit, you know, it's, uh, this again, this here is always going to be a bit easier to kind of write, okay? They both mean negative 6 to positive 6. But again with the set notation, just remember, you know, we always point, now I've got to remember, we always point to the left, all right? Um, smallest to biggest. And this has got the equal sign in it because the original question had the equal sign in it. Yeah, some people say, why is it always pointing that way? It just does. I mean, it kind of just for now, just accept that that's how we write it. Okay, smallest to biggest, and the arrow is always pointing to the left. Okay, so graph, interval notation, set notation. Don't worry, we'll do another one.